Picking up where we left off, we're going to look at some more interesting features of MIDI effect racks in Ableton. So again, creating a new MIDI clip with a uh, simple MIDI note pattern. Very similar to last time. And again, we'll go to our MIDI effects browser. And this time, we'll grab a chord plugin. And we're going to drop it just before the instrument rack. And we'll create a perfect fifth with that seven semitone step. And an octave higher. Maybe a minor chord there in the middle. There we go, minor third. Brings it all together. And now, we'll bring a randomizer before the chord. And we have some carnivalesque techno chords going. Each randomized note gets the chord steps added to it. Whereas if we put the randomization after the chord, the notes of the chord are all randomized, rendering the, the intelligibility of the chord uh, for naught. But then if we place a scale after it, it conforms it back into a scale, so we get a different kind of chord voicing this way. So you can see that the, the order that the MIDI plugins are placed in um, is quite important and has a huge effect on what we're doing. So now having selected them all with the Shift key, we hit Command-G to group them. So now these are all grouped to a rack, and we have a chain that we can now duplicate. So now we have it doubled up, but it doesn't double up the audio signal. When the same MIDI note is triggered at the same time, it only plays once. So the second one, I've added a pitch plugin to bring it up an octave. And now, I'll solo that first one that doesn't have the pitch plugin. You can hear the original voicing. And then with the higher octave added there, which we can solo now. So I think maybe um, we'll duplicate one more time. And this, uh, this next one, we'll get rid of the chords and we'll put an even higher pitch on there with a greater chance of randomization. And finally on this one we'll grab a note length. So these single notes that are in the higher end of the register can be changed in length. So go from shorter to longer notes. At this point I'm not uh, renaming any of the chains just yet. But now I've duplicated the first one, and uh, I'm, I'll bring this first one down one octave with a pitch plug-in. So now we have a lower octave, which we'll call minus 12. And uh, now we have our root octave, and our, um, our higher octave, plus 12. And our, um, our tops, which we'll call high. So now we have this really dynamic thing again, just coming from a simple rhythmic pattern of three MIDI notes.